Do you know that before the driver can drive on the road, he or she has to follow the rules and traffic signs? Now, any driver that does not know or master the road rules and violates the rule will be penalized. So, there are rules to follow in grammar called rules of concord. Any student who violates the rule will be penalized. Consider some of these rules in this lesson. Now, a singular verb or a singular subject must be used with a singular verb. For example, he has gone abroad. The man writes every day. She is a little girl. It was a tall tree. The second rule. A plural subject must be used with a plural verb. That is, the verb here will not carry the final S if it is the main verb. Example. My special thanks are due to all my friends. There is struggling to escape. I speak English every day. If the subject, that's the third rule, if the subject is plural in form but singular in meaning, it will then take a singular verb. Sentence example. The news is read by a lady. Mathematics is my favorite subject. Measles is a deadly disease. Politics has been described as a dirty game. The fourth rule. Two subjects compounded by and to function as plural must be used with a plural verb. Sentence example. John and Samuel are my friends. The boy and the girl were friends. Akeja and Tija got admission to the university. The fifth rule. In some cases, a compound subject may function as singular if we are talking about the same thing. And if this occurs, it must be used with a singular verb. Example. Rice and beans is good for the body. Lion and Joe was written by Ole Shulinka. Bovas and Company has been popularly known in Ibadan. Did you get it? Today's class has been very revealing. We've learned a lot about spoken English. We have learned some rules that bind the agreement between subjects and verbs in sentences. Next class will reveal more rules. Till then, keep speaking right. <laughs>